Hi, it's Rob from the Brush and Bulk Gun. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to paint a Beth Company Space Marine. If you'd like to support the channel, our Coffee and Patreon page is linked below. Now on to the video. So the first colour that we're going to use is Citadel Mephiston Red. We're going to use this to paint up the housing of the bolt pistol. Also you've got the housing of the chainsaw. We're also going to have some of the little decorations between or rather little decorations on his shoulder pads, the X on one side, and then you're going to have a little X on his left knee too. Also, you'd be doing your eye lenses in this colour if he was wearing a helm. Next up is going to be Citadel Iron Hand Steel. You can use lead belcher or similar for this. We're going to use this to do some of the metallic parts on the miniature. So you've got the teeth of the chainsaw and part of the engine parts. Also got the pommel parts of the bolt pistol, those kind of areas. See all the exhausts and things like that on the back of the power pack too. Now I'm going to use some Citadel Bane Blade Brown. I'm going to use this to do his belt and all the pouches. A holster on his hip. I do like to use this as a base for different kinds of leather and stuff like that. I don't know why it just works so well with the contrasts. So that's what we'll be doing here. Now I'm going to use some Kislev Flesh to do his skin. Give that a nice smooth layer. Like so. Next up, Citadel Rockarth Flesh. I'm going to use this to do the Aquila on his chest. We're also going to use it on his hair. This is as the base for blonde hair. Now we're going to start with the shades. We're going to use Citadel Null Oil. We're going to use this on all the silvery metallics. As you can see when you're applying this, it brings out all of the details on these parts. You can still see some of that shininess behind it. But you can touch that up at a later point if you want to, to bring out a bit more shine. Now I'm going to use a little bit of Citadel Cassandora Yellow. And this is just going to be used on his hair. Over the Rakarth Flesh, that gives quite a nice base for the... Blonde hair. Next up, Citadel Reichland Flesh Shade. I'm going to use this to do his skin. Now, Citadel Druchy Violet. This is going to go onto all the red parts. Now, if you haven't done already, you can use a little spot of Mephiston Red in his mouth and then use the Druchy Violet in there as well, and that will give it that nice bit of shading inside his mouth. Now, Citadel Seraphim Sepia, you can use this on the bone colours. This will give us that nice base layer for bone. We can build up the colours for that. So we've got that nice bone coloured Aquila on his chest. Now we're going to use some Citadel Contrast Snakebite Leather. 
This is going to go onto the belt and the pouches and also the holster there. This gives us a really nice base for doing some light coloured leather as well. We can make that look worn and a bit knackered. So we're now going to work on the armour, so we're going to use Vallejo black, but whichever black you use is fine. And we're just going to block out all of that armour, so you've got that nice flat black colour. You can see on part of this, I do spray my miniatures prior to building them, just because I find it easy to do them all in one go, and then I don't miss any bits when I'm spraying them. And you do obviously scrape off a few little bits when you're scraping off some of the mould lines and things like that. So I just go around and give them a bit of a going over just to make sure that there's no bare plastic on there. So that done, we're now going to use Vallejo German Grey. I'm going to highlight this. So if you imagine the light is coming down from above him, and we are going to work on that kind of principle so that the areas that you'd see from above, like there, will be the bits that will be highlighted with the German Grey. Just fell over there. Back on his feet. And once you've done all those highlights, we can move on to the next stage, which is going to be Citadel Mechanicus Standard Grey. As you're looking at him now, you might think that's really quite grey, it doesn't look as black as it should do. But once you spray with the matte varnish afterwards, that brings all the colours together and it looks a lot darker. Also, the exposure is turned up a little bit here, so you can see the detail. Otherwise, it does tend to be a little bit dark. Now we're going to work on his face. We're going to start with Citadel Kislev Flesh. Just going to replace all the bits of skin tone, leaving the shade in the recesses. So it's got some creases across his forehead there, the wrinkles on his brow, parts of his ears. You've got little lines around his nose. You've got that cut down his face. So you just want to make sure that you're catching all the details and raised areas without blotting out all of the little recesses. So we're going to add a little bit of white to the Kislev flesh. We're going to start highlighting the skin there. Now we're going to add a little bit more white, we're going to do another highlight on the skin. Okay, so we're going to be doing part of this off camera as well. But you want to be thinking about, again, where the light's coming from, where it's going to hit the skin and paint those areas more. And the top edges of all the raised areas of skin. And this will give you the impression that the light is coming from above, creating those areas of shade on like underneath his cheeks. And that kind of thing. Now we're going to use some Vallejo white. This is going to be to do his teeth and his eyes. I'm forever astounded that any miniature this small has got individual teeth, but there we go. So I'm going to try and pick these out with my insane detail brush. So always if you get the teeth and join a couple of them together, it doesn't matter too much. You can use a little bit of shade or something like that and just get that into the crack between the teeth. That will make those teeth show up again. Now we're going to use some Vallejo Black. This is going to be to do his eyes, do the pupils in his eyes. Now the right hand eye there looks pretty decent. I try and adjust it a little bit to fit with the left hand eye because the left hand eye is like looking under his brow as though he's running straight ahead so try and add a little bit of white there try and put the pupil back in and it takes me 
about 20 minutes or something to get this eye right when I was doing a miniature, so it does take a lot of time sometimes to get the eyes right, but it did take some time, and at the end I'm probably about 90% happy with it, but sometimes you get the eye in a slightly wrong place and it's worth just leaving it there rather than messing about. Now we're going to use a little bit of Vallejo Red Wash. Can use this for around the wound, under his eyes, on his lips. If you've got a miniature that's got like the little sockets or things like that going into his head, you can put them on those too. So we're now going to start working on his hair again. We're going to use Rakar Flesh. What I'm trying to do here is pick out the crests of all those little details. Like so. Now we're going to use Sithelma Fist on red. And this is going to be to reapply colour to the casing of the bolter and also the chain sword. I'm going to leave the shade in the recesses there. And also think about where the light's catching it from above as well. So that in the areas underneath you are not going to have that light and the highlight colours under those areas. Next up, we're going to be using Citadel Evil Sun Scarlet, and this is going to be to highlight the red. So again, thinking about where the light is coming from, directly above, and you want to have the highlight of this so that they're all on the top side of it, rather than the undersides. Now again, this has been exposed a lot, so it does look very, very grey, but once the varnish goes on that and you see that with the normal kind of exposure you'll see that that armour looks very very black now I'm going to use Wild Rider Red and this is mainly to do edge highlights on all the red sections on the miniature this will just bring out those details and make them stand out a lot more make them look a lot cooler Like so. Next one is going to be Citadel Iron Hand Steel. I'm going to use this just to pick out some of the sections of metallic here just to make them stand out a bit more. One thing I found interesting with the Death Company was it's saying after the battles and things like that, any surviving ones are executed. So I figured that their gear would be pretty pristine because they're never going to be fighting more than sort of one incident or one battle or what have you or one campaign maybe now I'm going to use Sithel Rakar Flesh and start working on that chest Aquila so reapplying this leaving the Seraphim Sepia in the recesses Just try and pick out each of those kind of feather parts just to make them really stand out. Once that's done, we're going to use Citadel Ushabti Bone. We're going to do about 50% of those feathers, like the end 50%. And we're also going to highlight the skull and the tips and centre parts of those outer wing bits that run from the top left all the way to the middle. And we're going to use a little bit of Citadel Screaming Skull. And we are just going to do the final highlights on these. So maybe the last 20% of each of those feathers. And the highlights on the skull as though the light's catching it.
like so. Now we're going to work on the belt and pouches. We're going to start with Citadel Balor Brown. It's a nice base to start doing all the scuffs and chafes on the leather. So you use this going horizontal on the vertical and vertical on the horizontal sections. So basically whatever edge you're doing, you want to be painting on these rough bits around 90 degrees or so. It doesn't matter too much if it's not, but as long as they're going into the middle rather than being a straight line down the corner, it will give it that ragged look. Now we're going to add some Citadel Rackarth Flesh to the Ballow Brown, and this is now going to be added in a similar style to the previous layer, but to a lesser extent, sort of highlighting that previous highlight. And then we are just adding another layer of scrapes and chafes to that leather. So same again, a little bit more Rackarth Flesh. We are just doing the final little scrapes and scratches. You don't have to go all the way around here, just on certain bits, just to add that final highlight to make some areas look like they have been well scuffed. I was just going to paint the big red X on the shoulder and the knee. So using Citadel my fist on red for this. I'm just doing a thin rough line going from one corner to sort of like the, where the top right corner would be and then one going the other way. And what I always do when I'm freehanding is you look at the shoulder pad so that it's flat and straight and level. And see what parts look off and then you can tweak those parts so as I'm looking at it I'm looking for maybe one lip one bit being thinner than the other or thicker than the other or one bit being the slightly wrong angle or changing direction slightly and just tweaking that with a bit of black and German grey and now using a little bit of evil sun scarlet to highlight the two X's just a little bit you don't have to go overboard with it just put a little bit of that lighter color on the top most part of it. This is now going to be the Knights of the Chalice chapter badge because this is the Primaris chapter that I'm collecting at the moment. There's a full video on how to paint this one. I've done it slightly wrong there but I do tweak it because there should be a vertical between this upwards part here there you go like so now I'm going to use a little bit of black and just straighten up those edges and get that so that it's the right shape As always, once you've done this, if there's any little bits you need to tweak with a little bit of white, go ahead and do that, and just keep tweaking with the black and the white until you've got that finished. So this is the finished Death Company Marine. You can see that once it's been sprayed with varnish, it does merge that German grey and black together so that they have the highlights, but it still has that nice darkness so that the miniature doesn't look grey. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and if you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also, think about subscribing to some of our other social media, link below. Thanks very much. If you like the channel and you'd like to support me, my coffee and Patreon pages are linked below. Thanks very much.